Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and isn't my top so cute? There's a store called like Fashion Q. I think it was like in the hood back in the day. If you are from LA, Inglewood, like the Market Street area, um, that little big shopping center like down the street, like Market Street area. We had one and I used to go in there and get me like cute little tops. And that's when I thought like $15, $20 for a top was this is only like 16 bucks and it's so cute. I don't have a link for it. I'm sorry about that because I don't even know if they have a website. If they do, maybe I can Google it for you guys. Today, we're going to be doing a very easy beginner friendly install. This one does come courtesy of Dola Hair and they sent this beautiful closure wig to me. And as you guys can probably guess, I did not bond it down at all. She is absolutely 100% glueless and she fits like a glove. Like she literally like suctions to my head, which is chef's kiss. I did add the baby hair here. You guys know my go-to when I wear closures, like the closure ends here and then the tracks, like the wig cap starts here. And I like to do like a little swoop that kind of marries the tracks with the closure and we are good to go the hair itself is absolutely gorgeous it is 24 inches in length i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial again it's very easy and what makes this one even easier you don't even have to cut the lace this one comes with the lace already cut and camouflage it already came tweezed um it came glueless so you can literally put this one on and literally add a little bit of whatever to make the curls pop in your own way and you're good to go and even if you don't like like the juicy curls that i like you can go in and pick it out and make it nice and big and beautiful and give it like a little kinky vibe to it there's so many different things you can do i absolutely love 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 this one and let me just show you this is my comb you lift it up and it's literally not bonded down at all so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it okay ladies let's get right into it this is my natural hair um, i'm gonna go ahead and take this my l this is the rosemary i think it's rosemary mint um i've been using this i'm not gonna cap i only use it or mainly use it whenever i'm filming which is on a daily basis so um i would say i put it on maybe two to three times a week minimum and i just like to go ahead and take it along the hairline and along the parting yes i should be going into the hair but i just don't be trying to do too much with the oils and get it all in my pillow this one today is from dola hair and this is the packaging she's a 24 inch curly wig and she comes pre-cut yes the lace comes pre-cut so this is what the lace looks like and it has like a scalloped or like curved cut to it so it's perfect so you guys know i always tell you guys no straight across kind of make it jagged this is the inside construction of the cap we're going closure today and they did include the adjustable elastic band it's a bra strap style um also the nape um of the cap is really really nice and i'll show you guys the close-up in just a moment with it on so after we moisturize our hairline um, and we go ahead and put the wig on, voila, this is what it looks like on. And as you guys can see, I'm so amazed because it actually fits glueless. And they told me they were sending me a glueless wig, but this one has enough like grip or suction to the head that you literally don't have to bond anything down. It melts seamlessly. And I think it definitely helps that they did not cut the lace straight across when they cut it. They kind of did that scalloped or jagged cut that makes it perfect. Here is a close-up of the back. You guys know I'll be like to show you my kitchen, but for them, I did it. You guys see it fits the entire head all the way around like a glove, especially in the back, which is important. You can definitely wear it up, just kind of like pull the hair back, you know, or like pull some baby hairs down in the back so you can cover um, the cap. Also, I'm showing you guys the parting. You can do it as a center part, a curved part, or a side part, whatever you like. You can even do like half up, half down with a little bit of the hair um, or like, you know, two ponytails. You can definitely do a multitude of different type of styles with your closure wigs. Don't feel like you only have to do a center part. So here I'm pulling some hair forward. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it would look like to pull the hair forward. And at this point, I had decided I was going to do baby hair, but you guys will see in just a moment. I definitely am not going to do this much baby hair, but I did go ahead and customize the hairline. You guys already seen it did come pre-plucked, so you don't need to do this step at all. I just was, you know, you guys know me. If I don't have to do any work, I feel <laughs> indebted to do something. So I did open up the hairline. Um, I pulled a little bit of hair forward and like 
tweeze behind the hairline if that makes any sense and then I tweeze the hairline so that it's just not like tweeze only at the very front it's a little bit more gradient and then I'm gonna do the dynamic duo at this point I was gonna do a no part like flip over so that's exactly like what I was training the hair to do I really wanted to make sure that the hair in the front was like super laid and flat you guys know my signature when it comes to closure wigs is to um take some hair forward right at the edge where the closure ends and the like cap and tracks begin and like make baby hair or swoops right there to kind of like marry or like make my closure look a little bit more like a frontal than a closure and so kind of like just cancel out or camouflage that like line of separation or demarcation where again the lace ends and the tracks start so I did go ahead and take my time and I've been doing a little bit more steps when it comes to my baby hair but the steps that I do make it quicker if that makes any sense so I go in I section out the baby hair I cut it to the length I think I want it um, I start to form it when it's dry I add a little bit of the edge control from Beauty .com, only at the base or the lace drive it through and kind of start that shape then I'll add my um, even lace spray at also the base or the lace of the um I'm getting a brain fart at the base and then I drive it through and then I blow dry it with a um blow dryer to set it and that makes the literally the perfect Instagram baby hair that blow dryer step and the lace spray definitely turn it up a notch now I'm going to go in and focus on the ends and you guys can see how beautiful that hairline and that lace is you really could have just left it how it was and been good to go because the lace and the hairline looks so amazing here I am adding my Cantu leave-in and as you guys can see I'm also amazed the Cantu leave-in with the dimming brush on damp damp hair was absolutely the best combo sometimes you know you can use different products um i love 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 a good mousse moment but today on this specific hair i think that the cantu was the best option absolutely gorgeous but i just kind of felt like i could do more with the hair um as far as the hairline and like the lace goes the no parting just wasn't giving today i think the no parting definitely looks better on frontals opposed to closures but they still do look good on closures i just felt like it needed something different so i did stamp out a center part and go in and just make sure everything was perfect i'm going to use a dark brown um hairspray so it's not too harsh to go in and clean up the um parting and then i did add my fenty concealer to you know make it pop off everything i use including that spray is in the description box you'll also find lists and links of you know like the edge control the blow dryer and all of that and then i did go in with the ruby kisses foundation this is a shade darker i don't know if you can tell it's a little bit richer than my complexion along the hairline making sure that it's not a warm tone or like too red and more so a cool tone so it doesn't like look yellow if that makes any sense and this is just going to marry everything together even when i'm not wearing makeup this one looks really good okay ladies so we are done with this look i'm just throwing on a little body butter because a lot of the times when i come on here my elbows be ashy my hands be ashy it just be all over the place and i'm trying not to give y'all ashy so we are officially done with the look i did go ahead and watch some stuff on Facebook you guys know I love my crime investigation shows for a minute just to give the hair a time to kind of like set if you will um not set but you guys know like when you first freshly add your product the hair is a little bit wet um and it's majority I would say like 80 maybe even 90 percent dry let's blot my face I probably didn't make a huge difference but I want to make sure I am looking my best but this is the look here beautiful closure wig and i went ahead and set it off with some baby hairs you guys know where the closure ends like right here and then the tracks and like the wig cap starts i like to like marry those two together with some baby hair i did start off a little bit wispy and then i added a little bit more and so now it's kind of like molded down because i added more of my edge control and i kind of like it the way it is of course i'm going to take this wig off and so you'll see um once i take the wig off um or when i take the wig off it'll kind of like perfectly be set and molded to have that um shape i got this little cute top from fashion q and i really like it do you guys like it i like fun stuff it gives like the kooji vibes but something fun like with some baggy sweatpants and then my um 
my Amazon slides. I have these in the description box because I wear these literally every day. I have so many Ugg slippers, Gucci slides, Balenciaga slides, slides, this slides, that slides, and these are the ones I've been wearing every day for like the last maybe two months. This one was so simple and easy. I'm just like, what else can I say? There's nothing else to say. The hair was amazing. And as you guys can see, it does fit glueless. I don't want to completely lift it quite yet because I do have to take pictures and do an intro. And I'm not sure I have to re slick this baby hair. But um, this is the packaging. I love Dola and I love the fact they do the zebra with the purple. Super duper cute. With the gold inside says hello gorgeous how cute is that and then inside the package we do have um this cute little mesh bag and inside the bag was a eyebrow razor um, a baby hair brush we also have elastic band a wig band which does say dola hair all around super cute and then we have some wig caps be sure to check out all the lists and links of everything we use to complete this look Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!